Welcome back. In this program, we're going to look at adding mouse click events to our Python graphics. In the last lesson, we saw how we could create basic shapes in Python using our graphics library. We can extend our programs to add user interactions in the form of mouse click events. So what is a mouse event? Well, a mouse event can be anything from when a user does something with a mouse, such as clicking, moving, or even hovering over a particular part of the screen. We can write programs to do different things depending on what and where they do it. To respond to events, we use what we call a callback function. A callback function is a function that gets called by our program in response to an event. We can specify this function by binding it to the event and passing information to that function. When we bind an event, we are essentially linking a function to a particular action. So here's how we can do it with our basic format. We create a function that can have any name. In this example, we called it click. Notice that the function takes two input parameters, an x and a y, which represents the coordinates of the mouse click. Remember, the input parameters are variables that we have available to us in our function. Then we bind that function by using the add mouse click handler method. Inside the parentheses, we pass the method name. Notice that the method name doesn't include parentheses or the x and y parameters, just the method name. Now when the mouse button is clicked, the click function will execute. Let's look at a quick example of how we can draw a circle centered at a point where a user clicks. When the user clicks, the program creates a click event and passes the x and y coordinates to our draw circle function. We can then use the x and y coordinates to set the position of our circle. We bind the event to the mouse click with the add mouse click handler function. So let's go and explore this in the editor. Okay, so we're going to take a look at how we create circles with a click. Um, so we have to essentially have a function that's going to be called with our click method. And so we're going to create that method and we're going to call it draw circle. So I'm just going to put um, this function will draw a circle at x comma y. Okay, so we're going to define draw circle. And it's going to take an x and a y coordinate. And remember, our function, when we click on our mouse event, it's going to pass it that x and y value, which tells us where that mouse was actually clicked. Okay, so we're going to call this circle equals new circle with a radius, we'll say, of 20. Okay, now we're going to say circle.setPosition. And it's going to be this x and y coordinate of where the mouse was clicked. Then we just have to add it to our canvas. Okay, so that'll create a circle. And if we actually called this function and said, let's create it at 50, comma 50, we would see that our function creates a circle at 50-50. doesn't do anything when I click the mouse yet, but it creates that one circle. Okay, so now we want to bind that to our mouse click, and we do that with our mouse click handler method. So we're going to say add mouse click handler, and we're going to pass it the function name. And notice that this function name doesn't have parentheses, doesn't have an x, y, it's just that function name there. Okay, and when we run this now, we see that we've attached it, and everywhere I click, you can see right there at the center is my click, and it puts a circle right there. Okay. I can also change this up if I want to make this circle as green. I can say you know, circle dot set color, color green. And I can run that, and I'll have green circles. Okay, and that's it. Time for you to play around with this on your own.